What does EFSA do? The European Food Safety Authority assesses and communicates on risks across the entire food chain, from field to plate, covering food and feed safety, animal health and welfare, nutrition, plant health and pesticides. The European Commission and Parliament and national bodies in the EU turn to EFSA for scientific advice on food safety. EFSA can also initiate its own work to look into a particular area of concern. EFSA carries out its work in close cooperation with EU member states. EFSA's advice is then used by the EU institutions to shape the food safety laws and policies that protect consumers. Who does EFSA work with? To better assess risks associated with the food chain, EFSA has over 400 staff collaborating with over 1,300 highly qualified experts in scientific risk assessment. Scientists who sit on EFSA's scientific committee and panels are appointed through an open and rigorous selection process. To ensure independence, all experts who work for EFSA must declare any interests to avoid any potential conflicts of interest arising. To understand better how EFSA's risk assessments work, let's look at how the authority assessed the health risks from the illegal use of the chemical melamine in milk powder used to make biscuits and chocolate which could have been imported into the EU. So how are risks assessed? First, the hazard must be identified. In other words, what is the cause and what is the effect? In this case, the cause was melamine, which was found in milk powder, where it was used to cut costs and to simulate a higher milk protein level. It cannot be used in the EU in food and feed because it is toxic for the kidneys. Second, scientists must characterize the hazard. If consumers were exposed to melamine in foods, what level could still be considered safe? What is the tolerable daily intake for melamine? Third, scientists assess exposure. So who is exposed and at what levels? EFSA experts looked at what types of food could potentially contain melamine. Then, using data from member states, they assessed how much of this food, in this case chocolates and biscuits, children or adults eat. Finally, scientists can assess the risk. In other words, what are the health risks associated with exposure? At the time, EFSA found that there would be limited risk from contaminated chocolate and biscuits to adults. And for children, there was only a risk at very high levels of exposure. EFSA's scientific advice was then used by EU legislators and member states to make decisions to protect consumers. But EFSA does more than just assess the risks. It also communicates its scientific advice so that all interested parties receive accurate and timely information on the outcome of its scientific work. How does EFSA communicate and why? EFSA ensures that its messages reach the right people at the right time in the right way through a wide range of communications tools. All of its advice is publicly available on its website. EFSA informs public authorities at EU and national level about its scientific work. Risk managers can then reach out to their own audiences. EFSA works openly and transparently and engages in dialogue with partners and stakeholders to provide comprehensive scientific advice to EU legislators. Providing the best science at the right time is how EFSA actively contributes to improve food safety in Europe and to reinforce public confidence and trust in the European food safety system. All this underlines how EFSA remains committed to ensuring that Europe's food is safe.